people jump on Retta expecting that same quick shut off the hunger effect from trisepatide, and then they end up frustrated when it doesn't happen right away. I get it. So let's clear it up. Both Retta and trisepatide target the GLP-1 and GIP receptors, the ones that help regulate your blood sugar and suppress appetite. But Retta adds in a third receptor, glucagon, and that completely changes how your body responds. Glucagon ramps up your metabolism, so your body burns more calories, even while you're just sitting in your living room, allowing you to actually eat and refuel and still slim down. It increases your energy expenditure by telling your liver to release stored fuel, turning glycogen and fat into glucose and ketones that your body can use. And it also enhances your fat metabolism, helping you tap into those fat stores more efficiently for steady, sustained fat loss over time. TERS flips off the food noise switch fast, usually within the first injection, Retta can take a lot of time, maybe four to six weeks, sometimes even more. That's because it really needs to build up in your system and it's revving up your metabolism first. If you're switching from TERS, the king of appetite suppression, you might feel a little frustrated at first, but Retta is really all about the slow and steady burn. 